Hey, guys welcome back to our channel. In this video we are going to talk about Resident Evil 4. Data miners have found evidence in Resident Evil 4's remake that a remade version of Separate Ways, an unlockable mode in the original Resident Evil for that let players control Ada Wong, is currently in development. Resident Evil 4's remake is finally upon us and, while critics and fans alike seem to be loving it, bear traps aside, there are a few notable things missing from the experience currently. One is the Mercenaries mode, which we know is coming in April via a free update, and another is the Separate Ways mode that lets you play as Ada Wong. It's even more noticeable as Leon even makes a joke about it in the game, stating that he and Ada need to go their separate ways at one point. Although it's a shame that Separate Ways isn't in the game at launch, it does seem to be coming at some point as DLC or with a free update. As shared by Twitter user Resi Evil Central, Gosetsu, a data miner from the Resident Evil wiki, has found evidence that something to do with Separate Ways is currently being worked on for Resident Evil 4's remake. Resi Evil Central shared an image from the files of the PC version of the game, which contain a folder titled Another Order, which is the Japanese name of the mode. Alongside those folders are ones named Chainsaw, presumably after the Chainsaw demo, and one called Mercenaries, which is obviously related to the upcoming Mercenaries update. For those who don't remember separate ways, it's an unlockable mode that shows Ada's side of events during Resident Evil 4's story. Although only a short side mode, Separate Ways is canon to the overall Resident Evil story which, along with how much fans have been asking for it, only gives Capcom more reason to eventually end up adding it to Resident Evil 4's remake. Instead of Resident Evil 4, I played a game that uses a roll of toilet paper as a controller. Let me just say it is just as good as you heard. The graphics are beautiful. The gameplay has been smoothed out. Everything feels similar enough to make you smile at every recognizable moment, everything feels different enough to keep you terrified and on your toes. It's truly a great game. Congrats to all. But I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the game that ate up more of my Friday night after I took a break and made the mistake of checking out the Switch eShop. Because right there waiting for me, like the warmth of God's love and the brightness of the Lord's light was one of the most beautiful video game titles I'd ever seen, give me toilet paper. I wasn't going to buy it. I was only curious. But then I saw it was $5 and I was like, yeah, that seems right. $5 is the exact price to trick me into buying a video game. It's just a small enough amount to make me throw caution to the wind and buy a game that is, again, called Give Me Toilet Paper. So instead of continuing Leon Kennedy's journey into Spanish architecture, I downloaded a real game made by real people onto my Nintendo Switch. I had no idea what the game was. I had no idea what the game would do. You know when you go to a bookstore and they have those books wrapped in brown paper that you can buy to surprise yourself with something random? That's basically how I bought this game. Now, my expectations for dirt cheap games are usually low. If I get 5 minutes of goofy mystery science theater 3000 style laughs out of a random cash grab, I'm fine with wasting my money. At worst, I've blown the price of a large coffee. At best, I've found something kind of amazing hidden under a pile of shovelware. Honey, I found something amazing. I'm not joking when I say this, Give Me Toilet Paper is actually a pretty good game. Even more important, it's a game that uses a real roll of toilet paper for a controller. This isn't a bit. You really need these objects. I didn't have the tissue paper or a cardboard box handy, so I ended up using paper towels and a Godzilla Blu-ray collection. That's all for today's video make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.